Okay, so yesterday you watched me de-rust and sand back my Betty here. So today I'm going to be bogging her using this bog here. And like any product, before you use it, you should read the instructions. Um, and it sticks to paint and rust and metal. It bonds to metal better. Um, so, but the only thing it doesn't stick to is the gloss coat on your car. So as I've got around here, I've only done a fine sand. So I've got to sand a bit further around my damaged area to get rid of that gloss coat so it will stick better. And that way too when I airbrush it, same with airbrush paint, it doesn't stick to the gloss coat. So I've got to get rid of that gloss coat so when I feather the painting out, it will blend beautifully. Okay, so before you do any bogging or anything, you want to get rid of all the dirt from the sandpaper. So you want to give it a nice clean. And then you want to get a cloth like I have here with a little bit of soapy water to get rid of any oil. You don't want any oil residue where the bog's going to go. Okay, so. Okay, so I've got my bog here. So when you open it up, you'll see that the hardener is in the cap. You use like hardly any of this to the actual resin here. Um, I'm just going to go get a knife to open this up. Okay, so I actually grabbed a fork because they're really fat on the end of my forks are. So I'm not going to bend it like I think I would have bent one of my knives if I tried it with one of them. See here? I'll just get the camera to show you. Okay, so it's got kind of like a gloss layer across the top here, which means the product needs to be mixed. It's been sitting there for a bit, so it needs to be mixed thoroughly. If it's not mixed thoroughly, it won't um, go off properly when you mix the hardener with it. Um, when it's bogged on your car, it might be some soft spots. So we don't want any of that, so we've got to mix it thoroughly. I wasn't able to find anything to mix it with, because whatever you use to mix it with, like you have to throw it away. So I went and grabbed a stick out of the garden, a preferably clean one. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the way down to the bottom so it goes all the way through. So today I'm going to be using two scrapers here to apply and mix. You wanna use two because if you're gonna get it all over one, then when you try and apply it smoothly, it won't work. So you wanna use two different ones, one to mix and one to apply. So, because I'm only applying on a small area, I'm going to use the small metal one on the actual car and the big one to mix. Okay, so, just want to get out a little bit. This stuff sets really fast, so you pretty much just want to get enough out for your first area you are going to work with. And then your second area you want to mix another lot for because you have about five minutes in between um, to mix it with before it sets so and that's not really a lot of time to work with so you just want to get enough out for the first bit and then grab some out for the second bit afterwards okay okay so I got a nice chunk here on my paint palette thing okay so now you want to mix in the hardener so it's about 100 to 1 ratio really, you use hardly any hardener. So you pretty much, to get the right amount, you want to get it in a nice little ball like I've done here. And then you just want to squeeze a small line about the distance across your ball. And that will be pretty well the right amount. Okay, and you want to mix it in thoroughly, pretty much till the entire thing has changed colour to a slight pink so there's no more streaks in it and when mixing you just want to pick it all up and smooth it out like that you don't want to be mixing it in circles or anything like that because it will get air bubbles within it and you don't want any air bubbles so when you apply it you'll have all these air bubbles
Okay, so now that's all one consistent colour, it's ready to go. So, get rid of that off there so it doesn't dry in the meantime while I'm applying it to the vehicle. Okay. Okay, so now I want to grab your other spatula. Okay, and grab a small amount. Damn. I did it in the sun, so look, it's already gone off. I did it in the sun, so it's already hard. So I've got to do another bit, but I'll do this one out of the sun. So, bit of a bummer there, bit of waste. That's how quick it goes off. So the time I mixed it, it went off. So this time I'm gonna do it in the shade, so it won't go off so quickly. Okay, so round two, I mixed it in the shade, so it will give me more time to work with it. So it's crucial that you only mix up enough for, say, this sort of area. I tried to go a bit further here and it started to already set. So I've got to pretty much sand this bit back and do it again um, because it's not smooth like I want it to be. So.